Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. Uh, when we last left off, we were going to the promenade, I believe. Possibly. Uh, let's have a little look now. I haven't actually played this for ages. Um, no, we're going to the freight lift. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't played this game for bloody ages. Uh, I'm on holiday now. But, it's, we've had some construction outside my window, which has been fun. Well, it's not actually construction, per se. It's the landlord painting the railings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is really loud when you only have single glazed windows. Uh, oh, hello. Right. And, uh, would you believe me if I told you? That I can't remember my controls. You probably would, wouldn't you? Okay. Well. Let's keep... There we go. Knew that was coming. Knew it was coming. Well, let's uh, reload the old shotgun and keep going. That's enough excitement for one day. So the Genesis device, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I remember there's a button for that, and I remember I changed it and remapped it, but that was weeks ago, baby. Okay, so that is not what we want. That changes weapons, which is actually rather nice. Oh, that throws very valuable precious grenades. Cool, cool, cool. Where's Genesis device? Where is it? Like, it can't be that hard, surely. Like, I know what everything else is, apart from Genesis. Uh, stay. Oh, I always remember how terrible the, um... Right. Genesis is just click the... Is it? No, it's not. All right, whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. Now we're down here in the bows. This is where things. It should still work. Parker. Should still work. So we have a new upgrade part here. Yeah, this is where things are going to get quite a bit more challenging. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here. Not that I can remember. Oh no. Then we need to find it. Okay. I'll check around here. Turns up. Uh, you're gonna. I'll look for it on my end. You're gonna check around there, in case it turns up. So you're gonna stare at that console until your key magically turns up. Wow, Parker, you're more useless than I gave you credit for. So he's just gonna stand there uh, like a absolute doofus whilst we go do some work. You know, standard Resident Evil stuff. That is really curious. Genesis device. I mean... Right, okay. It's G. I was gonna say, it had to be one of the keyboard buttons. You know. Maybe I didn't map it to my mouse, which seems incredibly short-sighted of me, but that does seem to be something that I would do, to be fair. Alright, well, let's keep looking. Oh, that's it. We don't have charge on this, do we? We have double shot. It won't budge. There's some kind of mechanism. Oh, yay! We have another one of these convenient panels. I do love it when uh, the puzzles in these games are all the same. Said no Resident Evil fan ever. Uh... Also, the sound of her leather is really off-putting. I don't know why it sounds like leather. Pretty sure it, it, it's a synthetic wetsuit. Rubber, most likely. Doesn't sound like rubber. Doesn't sound like rubber at all. Sounds like leather. Just saying. Yeah, our internet's been really spotty for the last three, possibly four days as well, which hasn't been great. Um, there are, like, open-reach telecommunication vans. Doing something. 
I think I might have an idea where she is. Yeah. Yeah. I just pray it wasn't her. Pretty sure that corpse we ran into earlier was her, Jill. Now, I wonder, can we go all the way back? Did we even get the handprint? I know we're not necessarily aiming to get all the handprints. But I am rather curious. And who knows? There might be some horrible monsters around here. You never know. We do like our horrible bloody monsters in this game. <laughs> now, the handprint should be here somewhere. But oh, I was going to say I'm going to go out on a limb and say we've already got it, but actually. There's stuff outside. So maybe this was a worthy endeavor. Coming all the way outside. I thought it was a bit of a gamble. But whatever. So we've just got a few rifle bullets out here. Well, maybe it wasn't that worth coming out, but you know. Alright. Oh, hey sir. Nice to meet you. Wow, you can literally count how many teeth that guy's got. Pretty interesting. Ah, thank you. I was going to say, Steam's shortcuts aren't working either. What is going on with my computer? My computer was being an absolute dick penis man the other day. Um, I did threaten to replace it with an Intel build, and that seems to have sorted itself out. Right. Which, to be fair, it may be an Intel build next time. Who knows? Don't be a fanboy. Never be a fanboy. Do your research and buy the best products that are available at the time that fit into your budget. Hey, guys. What's going on? Put one clean through his chest. And one clean through his chest. Now what we... Oh, we actually... Mm. Okay. Apparently we're all maxed out. So yeah, there is an achievement, as I said, for getting... Uh, for killing Rachel, actually, before she gets to this diner. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Let's have a little look, shall we? Uh, especially because we're on Inferno. Uh, what do we have to play with? We've got the P90. Stargate special. Um, do we have a... We do actually have a Magnum here. But... That's interesting. So the M40A1 uh, actually does more damage. Um, which makes sense. Might actually swap these two around. We can put the damage on it. How many rounds do we have for that? Not a huge amount. Fire rate. Wait a minute. What has a better fire speed? Yeah, so our rifle is actually better than our Magnum in, like, every way. So, it is... The Magnum is, like, literally pointless at this point. Uh, sure, game. Sure. Now the P90... P90's got a lot of good buffs on it, but... It is a fast-firing weapon, though. Yeah, I think we'll keep the P90. Alright, well, whatever. Let's keep going. Any zombos in here? Any melty zombos in here? Wow, he just like dropped in and blew himself apart. I mean, sure, whatever floats your boat, I guess. I mean, somebody's got to got to make an entrance, right? Can't leave the show dominated entirely by Jill now, can we? Hey. 
Oh, we missed. That's bad. We missed again. That is also bad. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, nope out of there. Wow, out of practice there. That was rather embarrassing. Should we go do these guys in? Let's see where they actually are in the room. Oh, uh, this was bad. Oh, good. This is going to hurt. Was that worth it? I mean, eh, we've cleared the room. So, maybe it was worth it. Spoiler, it was not worth it. But then, herbs aren't what? Where's the, where is this? Okay, I don't know what we scanned there. But we're just going to nod and agree. Machine gun ammo. More machine gun ammo. More machine gun ammo. This game really wants to give us machine gun ammo here. Okay. So what did we scan? Maybe that pile of... That hunk of meat right there. Alright, well, whatever. Not sure if we can actually dodge... Ooh, hey. Well, he just wanted to pop in and say hi. Dick. Pretty sure there's stuff in here. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Yeah, unfortunately, we do have to deal with the occupant. Who is not going to give me time to charge my weapon up, which is fine. We'll just treat him. Or I would say we'll treat him to a dose of the good stuff. Remember, kids, it's really important to remember what your buttons are. It's actually pivotal this to your success. Chris. Where is the real Chris? Yeah, definitely uh, uh, try and remember what your buttons are, kids. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. But that's fine. We're back up to full health anyway. So we've got the custom parts. Oh yeah, there's a diary here now, I think. I'm not sure if we could read this before. Mysterious instructions. It looks like a message. It's essential that we carry out our mission as expeditiously as possible. Well, that was very well pronunciated. You're welcome. After boarding the Queen Zenobia, our two targets will be here soon, but they must not compromise the mission. Take... Uh, appropriate actions. Don't overreact. 1. Secure the room. Find the most accessible room in the crew's quarters and secure it. Intel indicates that there could be BOW activity on the ship. Act with extreme caution at all times. 2. Materials. The spy props you were given are meant to be used to stow confusion amongst our targets. Follow the instructions for where to distribute them around the room. After that, Leave the room immediately. Do not leave any traces of your presence. The main point of this, mission's, this mission is to mislead the targets, so it must be carried out quickly and stealthily. Do not let the targets see you. Do not engage or fire upon them. Your primary concern should be your concealment. Leave everything else to me. So, something's going on here. This whole thing was a setup, apparently. Veltro. Hmm. And I'm guessing we're the two targets. So whoever set this little this little rodeo up doesn't want us getting hurt. They just want us to be misled. Ooh, legendary parts. Don't mind if we do. Um very interesting. Now in the beta version of this game, um that Chris model that was sitting in the seat, the mannequin. It wasn't actually meant to be a mannequin. It was supposed to be a double. So that would have been interesting. Hello? Anybody home? Okay. Let's have... 
grenades, I guess. We'll have our standard grenades out. Okay. Yeah, I think what's happened is my profile is wrong. Wakey, wakey. Anybody want to come out and say hi? Hello. Ooh, got a little bit too close to you there, didn't I? A little bit too, uh, too jumpy. Son of a... I guess that was entirely predictable and my fault. Alright, let's try that again. Cautious. Cautious. Not going to throw caution into the wind anymore. Check your corners, Jill. Remember your... Ooh, hello. Your elite training that you kept a secret. You found me? Or is it I who have found you? Uh oh. Wow, these bloated gas bags certainly are reasonably strong, aren't they? Alright, Jill, it's all good. We got this. We got this, Jill. I am somewhat sure we have this. I mean... We might not have this. There's always the distinct possibility that we don't have this. Item found. Okay. Machine gun ammo. Game's giving us a lot of machine gun ammo. Alright, well. You'd have thought this uh, massive box would hold considerably more ammunition than it does. Just uh, just thinking out loud, I suppose. All right. Doesn't look like anything's gonna spring out at us. Plenty of machine gun ammo. Well, I say there's plenty of machine gun ammo. It's not really a lot of machine gun ammo. It is a small token supply of machine gun ammo. Yeah, we scaped this place out last time, didn't we? I thought we did. Alright, cool. Now, yeah. Careful of the slime, Jill. Careful of the slime. Okay, it was around here. It was. And she's not there. <gasps> Where could she be? Oh my. Luckily, she's uh, left her diary. That obviously fell out of her back pocket as she stood up. Even though it looks like it should be the size of her torso. But that's none of my business. No clue as to who left this here. I was forced on this mission. I had no desire to come here for a job that could get me killed. At any rate, stage one is complete. I got the key for the freight lift. Now I can access the bilge. This ship was used as the base of operations for the terrorist attack on Terra Grazia one year ago. I found the UAV in the ship's foredeck that was used to disperse the virus. Finding the UAV was good. Getting attacked out of nowhere by an ugly monster was bad. An ugly monster. Yeah, it wasn't a pretty monster. It wasn't a cute monster. It was an ugly one. I knew this mission would suck from the moment I took it. My head feels like it's going to split open. I lost an eye already. It's hard to see. I feel like crap. She seems reasonably calm, considering she's lost an eyeball. Uh, arms are starting to feel weird too. My right arm split in two. Body all over, uh, blood all over my body. I can see my bones. Need doctor bad. The writing is obscured by blood. Ooh, that bit is cool. All right, well, oh, you, uh, I guess she's gone. I found the target. 
But she's a zombie. Isn't that always the case? It seems to be. Does seem to be. Right, come on then, bitch. Let's do this. I don't want to fight your cronies. Don't want to fight your cronies. There she is. Reload. Reload, please. Come on, Jill. Oh, God. Now, we're kind of backed into a wall. Which is not the best place to be. Uh-oh. Yep. Ow. Pain. Lots and lots of pain. Extreme quantities of unimaginable, unfathomable pain. But that's okay. We can just keep shooting her in the back. Where are you running to, kitten? Alright, we've lost her. She's definitely got the key. Okay, I'm on it. I'll make my way to your position soon. Yeah, this is bad. Well, let's go grab some of this ammo that we left behind. Uh there should be ammo. Did we leave ammo everywhere? We did. But you can hear. All the nasties have got back up. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, this weapon, I mean, it's interesting. It has an insanely high DPS. But it's not... Was that a grenade there last time? It's not the best weapon. At much else, should we say. I guess it's got a high stun rate. Now, if we can attract her and hit her with this. This definitely does a reasonable amount of damage. Come on, power that weapon up. Has it got a level two? I don't remember. It doesn't appear to have a level 2. Pretty sure she drops out of there. Oh no. She drops out behind us. Just keep feeding her as many rounds as we can. I think we did some good damage there. Okay. I'm not super confident at taking her out before... Ooh. Reload that. Yeah, not super confident at taking her out before... Um, we get to the cafeteria, but we're gonna try. I'm pretty sure she's coming that way. I can't believe she turned so quickly. There she comes. There we go. Just going to keep shooting up. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, she's so freaking hard to do enough damage to her. It really is. I mean, if you think we're doing significantly more damage than the shotgun. And although it's definitely hurting her, it's just not quite enough, unfortunately. I think we've got one more chance to take her out before the... Yep. I think that's going to be it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Reload. No, no, get her. Ah, son of a bitch. Nah, it's not going to happen. We just don't quite have the weapons that we need, sadly. 
I don't know how much health she has on this difficulty, but it's kind of insane. I mean, we knew it would be insane, I guess, but it really is kind of funky. Okay, I mean, at least she doesn't turn into a T-Rex, you know, there is that. Got a little bit of machine gun ammo back, but not a huge amount. So now we have to take her out in here, I think. Yeah, man. Is it in here we take her out? Yes. Uh, I'm fine. I'm a little bit sad and disappointed that I didn't take my friend out. Oh, God. Reloading. Yeah, this weapon just... Oh, we, we must have been close. We must have been really close to taking her out. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. She's not very happy about the whole situation. But, you know. I guess that's fair. Now, interesting thing about her. You, apparently, we can't scan her when she's dead. No, we can scan her. We can scan her multiple times. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we can scan her when she's dead. Cool. Right, well, there's the lift key. So it really was Rachel. Oh, I wonder whoever her partner is. Oh, wait. We already know who her partner was. It was, uh... Matey Boy. With a questionable haircut. Alright, let's get out of here. I've already forgotten his name. Oh, she's getting up again. You didn't think that was the end of her, did you? I mean, I wouldn't go as far as saying she's a tyrant, but she's not far off. Yeah, very disappointed. Yeah, we're on it, buddy. We're on it. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry your little head about it. Okay. Now, let's go down into the deep bowels below. No response. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lel. Let's go put the key in the hole. Number four. I do like these comically oversized Tomb Raider style levers. Yeah, all right. Calm down. Let's not be too dramatic. So there we go. Episode four: A Nightmare Revisited. Uh, eh, could be worse. Could be better. Well, we got an A for that. I'll take it. Right, so I guess we're going to leave this here for now. Wow, episode 5? Oh, we are on episode... But it said 4-3, but episode 5. I'm confused. Anyway, we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. When we come back, well, straight into the depths of hell, apparently. Till then, thanks for watching.